Alright, so I am here to show you how I make these videos, more specifically how I get this zoomed in. Uh, mostly to show myself how I did this because I'm going to not do this for a while and then I'll forget. So this is for the future me as well as whoever else needs it. And yeah, the sound in here is really echoey and there's not much I can do about that. So first off, I am on my GoPro which is hooked up to the PC by a USB cable. And there it is. Now let's go find the video files. Unfortunately, I may not have deleted the previous set. So I think it's 1066, 1067, 1068 are the ones that I need. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to actually cut them because I don't care if I lose them. And let's go stick them somewhere on a relatively fast hard drive. So in my computer's case, that would not be drive H. That's spinning rust. It could be this one, but I don't have enough space, so it's going to be this one. And the way I do things, I just have an unsaved directory that says, if I lose this hard drive, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about that stuff. And all the other places are like cloud synced and stuff. So uh, I'm going to make a new folder. So drive on 146 in Floydsburg, which is 22 Floydsburg. 146. Start copying the files. All right, the files are all copied over. So now let's go over to Premiere Pro, create a new project, and to slot rip, I don't know, N, and uh, have it on this drive. Uh, let's see anything else in here that's interesting? Not really. Um, okay. And because I've mucked around with the audio settings and stuff, I need to change. It doesn't automatically choose anything. So let's see, input's going to be Snowball. No. Leave the input at Steam because I don't want to accidentally turn off the recording that I'm doing here. Default output is here. I don't care about that. Like that. All right. Okay, so now we are in editing mode. Go to uh, media browser and I choose. Let's get this bigger. I'm here. I'm going to take these three files and I'm going to import them. And then I will create an initial sequence. I could just drag this over or I could actually say more specifically new sequence from clip. Give it a new name. This is the name that the export mp3 file looks like. So Tesla AP. Uh, this is 22 Floydsburg 146. And this is the version where I trim things down. And then I add the other videos into the end. I'm using the minus key to do zoom. And I'm setting this as low as it will go, so because this is a um, 4K 60 frames per second video. And uh, we are now ready to do some trimming. So I'm going to trim out all the stuff that nobody else needs to see, which involves going through the video. And I pressed space, did I not? Okay, that's a bunch of stuff talking there, so. Oh, there you go. I'm using J and K and L on the keyboard to control positioning. Let me zoom in a little bit. I can see the waveforms down here, so I kind of know what's happening. I'm going to make the audio waveform a little bit larger because I'm looking at that a lot. I'm going to say control K, cut, and I'm going to skip over stuff that we're just going to skip over. Boop, me going up the driveway, me turning onto 22, we'll go back a little bit right about there. That looks good. Cut all that and ripple delete so that moves everything down after i've deleted it so now um the way i've been doing these is i'm very much looking for empty spots this is where i'm sitting still most likely all right and the other thing i forgot is i'm also doing a dip transition between things so effects dip to black 
any time that there's a gap in time, and I should probably put that on the beginning as well. So I can set this as a default transition, and if I stick my head right about there, then I can see Control D to apply default transition. Control D and space should, and I think down arrow goes to the next point. Control D, insufficient media. So normally at least I'll talk to you a lot to Yeah, yeah, talking, talking, talking. That guy talks a lot. Hmm. Why is this doing this? We'll delete. There's probably a shortcut for that. Next time. That's interesting right about here. And we'll stop it right about there. And then people to know all of this stuff. Hoping I didn't say anything amazing. I'm gonna go home. Hmm. I did say some stuff. I guess we'll leave that. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave. We'll cut it out from there. Control D. I'm gonna go home, stay to Floydsburg Road, and then go down 180. Drive. All this looks about the same. Cool. Looks like we didn't have any long stops. And then we'll shut it off up oh, that that's driveway. Okay, so that's trimmed. So now it, I will apply a. Um, uh, I won't do the audio mastering here. I'll do it one time later to apply it across all the trims, all the clips. So now I'll take this guy and I'll say, "Make a new sequence from you." And in this one. I'll rename it to be zoomed. Here, I will drag this on a second time and I'll mute one of the tracks. And now, click in here and we can start applying a couple more effects. The first effect we'll apply is pin to corners or corner pin. And corner pin here. You see how I get these little draggers? So I'm going to zoom. Well, what I usually do is I, I move this guy in. I'm trying to get things square. So I'm holding up a thing against the screen, what I think square should be. And if I look really, really close, I can actually see the pixels on the screen. I can see if they're all like lined up vertically. So it's about there. I'll move you up. About right. Oh, too far. Huh? Huh? It's about right. Okay, on this side. Okay, so I still have it coming down a little bit. That's. Okay, this one's too high now. Okay, that should do it. Okay, now I will apply a crop effect, and then I get to choose a mask as to where to apply the cropping to. Mask is right. Okay, now I'll set the scale. All anyway, right, why did I do that? Applying scale, is this one scaled? Oh, that's right, I haven't done the actual cropping bit. All right, so I put a, hmm. This always gets confusing, but if I play with it, I actually have to like do either inverted or not, I forget which way this works, 10%. What the hell? Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on, so I'm gonna kill all of these guys until let's see, reset all of that. Scale, reset. Okay, corner pin is good. Crop mask here. Now, if I change the location of the left, see that it's it's cropping that part out. I want to invert that. So, I still don't understand why that's... I don't get it. Oh, I've got two masks. Wait a second. Clear that mask. What is this mask? This mask. Okay. Now, can we scale it? Now it scales everything. You said that. I 
think this is it. Now we can apply the scale. There we go. So I don't know how this thing's working, but this is what I do, right? So I fart around with it until it freaking works. Um, and then I change the position, anchor thing. Where are you, anchor thing? Go here. Come on. Oh, rigamalusi. Fine. I'm just going to move. Why is this not moving? There it goes. Go that way. And then this one. Over that way. And we get halfway passable, kind of, sort of, squarish zoom thing. All right. Good enough. Now I'll get over to the audio channel, which is not muted, which is that one. And over here, I'm going to do an audio effect. I'm going to do multi-band compressor. Do, 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 do. And the reason is that it has a vocal raise. And then if I play this, see this part over here? This is the rumble sound. So I'm going to say you are going to go down by minus 12 decibels. And then find a spot when I'm actually talking. Oh, I'll just start talking there. Eh, well, trust me, it works. Good enough. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Then I just say um, I'm going to export the Zoom one. Export media. And because I like to use my computer later. Uh, oh, what do I set? I set it for H.264. It puts it out in this location that's good for me. Matching source, uh, maximum render quality, uh, frame sampling should be fine because it should be the same frames exactly. And then I say Q, and that opens it up in media encoder. And once it's fully open, it's there. And I'll say, go ahead and do your work, buddy. And it starts chugging. Go ahead and close this guy down. I'm going to guess this will be like a, oh my goodness, eight hours render time, seven hours render time. So off it goes.